Hello ladies and gentlemen, scrubs and Jews, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome back to more XCOM Long War. Now, uh, before we start out here, I got a few shoutouts to I got a few shoutouts to take care of. First, Cody Sullivan for two hilarious comments on the last episode. I'm gonna read through all this as I uh I just don't understand. check through everything in my base here. Uh, so first, Cody Sullivan for two hilarious comments on the last episode. This fucking made me laugh my ass off. First, what would have made the interrogation seem platinum tier would have been uh, the femur breaker. May have been true shut up, all. Shin. Hang on, let me just shut him up. The femur breaker scream from SCP. So what, what would have made the interrogation seem platinum tier would have been the femur breaker scream from SCP. Uh, you know the the bone snapping thing when 173 wrecks you from behind and uh th this one made me choke on my beer the moment you find out they get regen health and guaranteed hits is when this video turned into a pornhub gangbang and <laughs> just uh oh no uh, there's 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 there, there's already straight up xenomorph porn out there that's it, not not my proudest fap i seriously don't stay off that side of Pornhub, kids. Just, just don't go there. Uh, next would be Vaughn uh, for uh, um, the uh, uh, con confirming, like I said in the last episode, that those uh, that those blue Overwatch symbols are indeed line of sight indicators, and that when it flashes blue and red, uh, they uh, that unit is on Overwatch. Um, he also uh, he was also the one that gave me the tip on scampering. And unless I am mistaken, um, how it works is if uh, whatever units have spent all their actions that turn when you reveal an alien squad. So let's say like two of let's say two out of my six guys have spent all their actions. I don't know. I I think it has to. I think you have to have only spent your actions on movement. I'm not sure. But the way I understand it is, let's say I've used uh, both movement actions for two of my... Or, I've, God damn it, I'm sorry. I can't speak today. I've used both my actions for two of my six guys on movement. Uh, and with guy number three, I reveal an alien squad. Guy number one and number two will get a movement flag back, and they'll be able to blue move to kind of scatter to better positions if I want to. So, I, I know that was a real roundabout, screwed up way of explaining it, but that's 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 my understanding at least. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and last, oh boy, Cannon Fodder three four three. Everybody, just give this guy a hand real quick, cause he or oh, well he or she, I don't know, um, has been dummy helpful, <laughs> fucking dummy helpful. So, just g give yourself a pat on the back, buddy. You deserve it. Uh, they also um. The, the, there were the, there were the other person that gave me the uh, tip on the Overwatch and line of sight indicators as well, but many many other helpful tips so far. Most recently, uh, at least on the most recent episode, one advising me to take Ranger for Miller and Yosef, which I will do now, since they can't be considered what he calls tank infantry, which I got a which I got a snort out of, as I did not give them will to survive in the past. Um. Uh, so, basically, getting Ranger is better. And also, by extent, he advised me, or he or she, they advised me that Ranger would, quote, help close the, help close the huge gap between Ballistic and Beam versus Gauss and Pulse. So let's take care of these guys right now. And Yosef, you get Ranger as well. Ooh, got a will boost. Nice. Now, where was I? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, they also hinted at just how much of the tech tree is locked behind interrogations. Uh, also, quote, If you want the sweet, sweet plus two damage of Gauss, I suggest you get capturing. Okay. Will do. Um, wait, hold on. Do I have... Okay, good. I do have the repair bay up, just in case I get a stun rifle or something damaged. Four. Here's a long one. He coughed up, well, again, uh, they coughed up uh, some of the details on LWR's chrysalids. LWR being Long War Rebalanced for short. Their high defense makes them pretty much immune to Overwatch. Uh, I, I went back in my last video and checked. Uh, when I was looking at a chrysalid stat card, my chance to hit was minus 40. 
because of their just straight up raw defense stat. Let me just scan real quick. Actually, is there anything I need to build in engineering? Uh, I'm I'm still trying to figure out how multitasking works. <laughs> I'm reading this and uh, you know. Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, I've got a couple of heaters coming up. I don't want to blow the rest of my cash. I'm just b before I forget. I just wanted to check to see what we've. Okay, got another scatter laser. Got three satellites coming up. Good lord. And that Phoenix cannon. Mm. Um. You know what? I'm gonna grab alloy jacket of Browns. Um. Let's see, because my shivs currently still use uh, the minigun, and a good few of my troops use battle rifles. And besides, th this will give some extra damage to uh, Gauss weaponry down the line. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna grab one of them for now, because I don't want to spend the rest of what I have. Now here's a here's the the big thought question: Why does my projects list keep bunching up like that. Here's a big question. Um, there is, at least in, in Long War, there was a laser equivalent to the battle rifle. You know, one more damage uh, than the base laser rifle uh, and less mobility, all that. B basic, basically, uh, an upgrade from a battle rifle to a laser quote-unquote battle rifle. Uh, I'd be curious how I get that, but okay. Just just to finish up, just to finish up this note real quick. Again, uh, the chrysalid's high defense makes them pretty much immune to Overwatch. Minus 40% to hit raw, which is terrifying. Uh, their hardened ability, which I'll admit it's terrifying, but I'll admit it makes sense because of their uh, natural chitin plating uh, on their skin. It basically stops Buckshot in its tracks like a German in Stalingrad, to put it bluntly. Like let's uh, let's let, let's check one of my ships here. Where are your... No. Derp. It... I can't see its abilities. But basically, hardening uh, has even more damage resistance against shotguns, which makes sense. Uh, and according to him, I need rocket launchers and grenades to deal with them properly, them being chrysalids. Ooh. I'll check up on that. I, I got a feeling I'm going to need those alloys. Uh, but yeah, so I need I need launchers and grenades to deal with them properly. Uh, but what I said about javelin rockets, with them being uh, for intended for just one hardened target, that was when I assumed that the standard rocket's blast radius uh, in Long War would be the same in Long War Rebalanced. It's not, as you saw. It's uh, I mean those those standard rockets. That blast is dummy wide. So now that I know that, um, and since Javelin rockets have 25% of the blast radius of a standard rocket, that's going to be a wider blast radius than I expected. So, and since Javelin rockets also pack 50% more of a punch, ideally we can glass a pack of nasties without having to worry about blasting a civvy through the wall. Now then, enough rambling, uh, and also let me just boot up my stopwatch real quick, there we go. <sighs> now, I was going to check on the uh, alloys and what I would need for them, right? Yeah, you know what? I want to have... Let me check the foundry here. Oh, fuck. 40 thin man corpses. Okay. Yeah, 25 alloys for high cap pistols. 10 more for tack rigging. 10 for metallurgy. Or metallurgy again. How, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Ooh, 20 seeker wrecks for boosters. Yikes. And yeah. And also with all the uh, all the other things that are just in manufacturing that need alloys. Excuse me. Plus uh yeah, we, we need alloys for some research as well. 
So, I'm probably going to end up letting that request go. <laughs> if, if only this was laser pistols, right? Hey. Uh, well... How much are laser rifles again? Nah, I'm gonna let that one go. Oh! Hello. Uh, that's probably an abductor. Alright, well, we should probably get ready for an abduction mission. We haven't yep. Our fighters to intercept the latest yep, but yep. Contact. Let's hope it doesn't do any serious damage. I just didn't bother scrambling anything after it Commander, because uh, I didn't want to have an escaped UFO. Bradford, please. Uh, I, I didn't launch anything after it because I didn't want to uh, have an escaped UFO on my monthly record, or I guess my, my monthly statement. Okay, let's... Uh, commercial district, densely populated urban area, may have taken control of any number of buildings. Okay. Wait a minute, do we... We're gonna recruit some more troops when we get back to base. Because we we have more than enough troopers to be able to to be able to rotate them through, but you know I could use more infantry, I could use more medics, and I could use more scouts. Now, also, uh, Cody mentioned a while back that Hans needs some love because we haven't brought him out since the first mission, I think. Have we? Oh well, we have missions three kills four, but we haven't brought him out in a while, so let's. Let's show him some love there, shall we? And uh, we'll bring Hawkins. Because close quarters. We will bring Dead Eye Mirai. And we will always have a medic. Rocketeer to train that shit up. Err... Uh, well... Um, no, it, it'd be better to bring an engineer and a gunner. If I if I had an eight-man squad on inductions, I'd totally bring a rocketeer. Even if, even though I didn't... Even though I wouldn't need one, just so we can get them XP and train them up so they're better equipped to deal with uh, terror missions and other things that actually need them. But, since we can only bring six... I don't have the luxury of padding my squad with unnecessary firepower. Or un unnecessary troops. Wh whatever, you, you get what I'm saying. Now, Burns has some crap aim. But he's got really good health, decent mobility, and he's pretty strong-willed, too. We're gonna bring him just so we can train him up. Oh yeah, he's one of the uniques. He's the dude with the beard. I forgot about that. And for a gunner, which just goddamn the the fucking aim penalty is just killer. It's it's awful. We'll bring or uh, wait, no, nope. wrong button. Uh, we'll just bring Saito because the saw has fucking minus two mobility. We basically can't bring anything with her. I mean, we could, but she'd be basically as slow as a juggernaut from Modern Warfare 3. On the other hand, we could give her a laser rifle. You know what? I might actually do that. I... I might do that until... Because we don't have to... We don't have to send them in with, a. Uh, with a machine gun. Then again... Saws are more built to suppress. Ah, uh, who knows. Whoop. Audio cut out there for a sec. Hopefully my mic didn't cut out again. Uh, I apologize for that way back in, what was it, episode 5? I don't know. That doesn't weigh anything. Oh, cool. Scopes don't weigh anything. Awesome. So we'll fix your aim up a little bit. And... 
equipment? Do med kits weigh anything? They do. Wait, what's all this other shit? Oh, that's just the range. I've always been curious what exactly the partial immunity to acid means. I... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's a chance to, uh, not get all trippy and shit if you run through a thin man acid cloud. I don't know. If, if somebody knows, let me know. Oops. So, we're gonna bring a laser sight, and god, god damn it, come on. There we go, there's that other slot. Scope and a laser sight. Ah, that's right. Burns here is still a squatty. Let's make items available. And what, what this does is it clears out any non-default items from soldiers that aren't on the mission or, or, or in the current squad loadout. If that makes sense. Basically, like, uh, just for example, so if I give this guy a scope, and so he's got a scope, a laser rifle, and a laser pistol, right? I'll clear him out, bring him back, he still has all that. If I do this, and make items available, boom. He's back to his uh, default weapons, just basic ballistics, and the scope, which is a non-default item because I manufactured it is gone from his inventory. So basically that is a nice and quick way to just empty out uh, anybody or free up the items of anybody who's not going on the mission without making it necessary to hunt through uh, the inventory of every individual soldier. Okay, now let me check your abilities real quick. So yeah, you, you've got smoke and mirrors. So we actually don't need to bring a uh, a smoke grenade with you. So instead, we're gonna give you an HE grenade. And I keep forgetting that HE grenades actually deal more damage now. It's taken me a while to get used to. And since we have a uh, graph uh, with a sniper, we're just gonna give. Uh, we're just gonna give Mirai a um God damn it, I can't talk. We're gonna give her a laser rifle. And flashbang, why not? Oh, she needs a laser pistol as well. You need a scatter laser. A laser pistol, and that is good. Sniper rifle, laser pistol, uh... Actually, scope. That'll do. I think that'll do just fine. So we will save. And launch. That is still really loud. Visual on the mission site, setting down. Our target site is near the German border. Oh yeah, and the the skipping and shit that, indicating that the happened during cutscenes and loading screens in my we'll move Bradford, please. The, spread of panic. the skipping and little freezy bits that happened uh, in the in cutscenes and loading screens in my previous episodes. None of those have happened in the last episode, so I'm pretty sure that was just a result. That was just a product of my failing hard drive. Okay. Central. Ah, there we go. I was like, where's the... Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, big sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. On my way. Let's move you here. I'm on the move. And what can we see? Come on. Nada. Okay. Well. Oh, this actually would have been perfect for uh. You know what? Where I move up. What the? Come on, girl. 
This game's slow today. And Saito. Where do I want you? Oh, Hawkins has got some legs. Holy crap. Time to motor. There's a joke in there somewhere. Let's Saito can just move there. And these two can go on Overwatch. Because of time constraints... Ten men. Because of time constraints, I am going to have to cut this at, uh, at a half hour. I started my stopwatch late, so it'll be a little longer than that, but just... We might have to stop in the middle of this, but if we do, we do. We can deal. Oh, there we are. Okay, we got a sectoid, a thin mint, and a uh, tentacle bot. So drop him. Oh, that's right, hardening. Okay. Hmm. Eh, try to drop him. There you go. We're gonna have her post up here. You are gonna go on Overwatch there. Ooh, who can you see? You can see... The Thin Man. Burns, my guy. 48. Wilson, 47. Let's have them both take a shot. Ha ha ha! So he's heavily wounded. Let's try to take this one out. There we go! Nice shots, boys! Get me the hell out of here! Okay, so he is posted up. Is anything hiding in here? It appears not. Can we get anybody... What the? Come on. We can get you up there. Perfect! How much mobility do you have? Fifteen! God damn, girl! Alright. Delete him. Jesus! She vaporized that fucker. Okay, who's suppressed? Is it... It's Wilson. Okay. Well, Burns... Flash this bastard. He's disoriented, and I don't... I think th I think that cancels suppression. It does. Affirmative. Seventy-eight. Seen us scum. Bye bye. Heading there now. Okay. Now I'm. Explorando. I predict that. The rest of them are going to be down to the lower left here. Let's divide and conquer. Uh, Got it. Can move you there. You will go Time to there. You slide out that way. Um, shit. Where do I want Graf? Heading there now. I'll have him post up on the other side of the store. Next turn, that is. I like this guy's voice actor. Oh, I heard floater somewhere. Very faintly. 
but they're out there. All right, so we got floaty boys. On my way. Wait, does this scatter? Oh wait, no. Pfft, you fired twice. I was an, I'm an idiot. I was gonna say does this thing only have two ammo. What the fuck? Um, and you know what? You can steady. And fuck it. Let's just pull the trigger. There they are. Ooh. These boys got some health. Flash them. Alright. So they're seeing stars. And wh where the... Oh my god, Wilson's all the way over there. That's right. Derp. Okay, so let's uh, focus on moving him up to the front. And that's right, Hawkins doesn't have run and gun because you get that as a... Ah, yeah, see, there we go. Scatter. Because you get, uh, you get run and gun as a Lance Corporal now. Which is a little painful, but whatever. Eh, Overwatch. Slip in there, and we'll just end my turn. Okay, well, ain't that a bitch? That was actually not what I expected them to do. Okay, so they're playing defensively now. Interesting. What the? Well, we can still flash this guy and get rid of his overwatch. At least I think it, it, it gets rid of it in XCOM 2. I don't know about Enemy Unknown. Yep, it gets rid of it. Cool. Where is... Lightning reflexes. Get to work, girl. God bless that ability. 71, 77. Mm, drop this one. <sighs> now the question of the day is, uh, where is the third one? Oh, nice shot! Oh, Graf, you can't see shit. And, uh, let's see. Saito, light him up like a candle, please. Alright, let's see what they do. Oh! Did he just wreck her cover? Oh, well, that's a melt canister gone. Uh, 77, uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, that's right, they're heavily wounded. But 29% is still... gonna be just enough. Fuck. Okay, well, you go ahead and heal. And heal again. Alright. Erase this man, please. Mmm, <clears throat> that's my girl. How the hell can nobody see this guy? For serious? Roger that. Roger that, scanning. Alright, well, Overwatch, Overwatch. Overwatch. Where the hell are you going? Come on. Ah, oh, there he is. 
Delete the Xeno. Okay. If I sound more tense than usual, it's because uh, I'm kind of... I kind of got to be somewhere in like an hour. So I'm really riding the time here. That probably doesn't even make sense. Riding the time? What the fuck does that mean? It, it, ignore me. Where? Ah, there's the last one. Fucking hell. Oh, well, they're moving to flank you. Um, there is a very simple solution to this problem. 762 NATO right to the jaw. Another day. All right. Now we're short of my norm here, but I'm going to have to cut this as soon as we dish out any promotions. It's certainly inspiring to see our troops meet with such success in the field. But still, oh, what the hell? We must work to recover more of this meld substance. Oh. Ooh, ooh, that is nice. Grenadier. Take double tap for him. Alright. We will be in Pretty nice haul. But that is again, re real short episode, but that is gonna have to be it for me for today, so. Let's not deal with any lengthy outro or anything like that. Just thanks everyone for watching. Shoot me a comment if you got any questions or anything like that, and I'll be sure to answer you. Till next time, catch you later.